I'm gonna give you three simple things, and if you follow these, you're gonna get a whole lot better at golf, it's gonna be a lot easier, and you're gonna get noticeable improvements every single time that you do this. So it's three separate drills. Let's start with number one, and this is possibly the most important, which is an inside approach. You see, when the club reaches parallel to the ground in the downswing, we don't actually want the club pointing down the target line, we want it to be a little bit inside. Let me go over some of the physics of why this is happening. You see, if I have my club inside and I pull my hands toward the target, you'll notice that the club releases or wants to kick out this way. The club face also wants to close down, which makes it easier to hit a draw. If I do the opposite of that, so instead of the club being inside like this, I put it outside, I pull the exact same direction, well now all of a sudden the club wants to kick in behind me, I get the club stuck, and the face wants to open up, leading in blocks out to the right. So do a little drill as you're first warming up. Make a downswing, pause when the club is parallel to the ground. Then go ahead and set the club head about five or six inches inside of where your hands are. So I'm just moving the club back this way. That allows me to get in this position to where it's coming from the inside. The club naturally wants to release inside out. So I'm just simply gonna pause there, get the club in the correct position, make a little half back swing and swing through to a finish to get that feeling. And then I'm gonna hit a shot doing that. If you're doing it correctly, I should be able to hit a nice tight little draw, feeling like the club's working from inside to out, and the face is actually wanting to turn over all on its own. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. There we go, nice little draw. Not too bad, six iron, 194. Since there's leveling out there a little bit, it'll kick back on here in a second, but a nice solid shot there. Now, the second drill I'm gonna work on is getting my hands out of the swing. You know, I don't wanna have a lot of manipulation with the hands. I don't wanna feel like I'm constantly trying to guide and you know, maneuver the club in the downswing. I want to move the club in a way to where I feel like I'm not controlling it, I'm just letting it swing. So a great way to do this is what I call a no hands drill. So all you're gonna do is start out by hitting some little tiny shots. I have a six iron here, but I'm just gonna hit 50 or 60 yard shots. I'm gonna feel like my hands are nice and loose on the club. And I'm gonna keep that, what feels like that same grip pressure, the entire backswing and downswing. So I'm just gonna make some little short swings, just like that. When I go to my finish, a big key to this is making sure that I pause in that finish. See, a lot of times if we're manipulating it with our hands, you'll notice that it's very difficult to pause here. You'll wanna move the club after it comes to the full finish. But if you're taking the tension away, it's really easy to just hold there nice and still. Now, a great thing with this is to add what we did previously. You see, if my club is outside, well, as I swing forward, it's gonna wanna kick in behind my body, the face is gonna wanna open, and I'll feel my hands getting active trying to steer it back to square up the face. I want you to go ahead, as you're doing this little no hands drill, feel like the club's coming from the inside, that way the club face goes ahead and releases and turns on over, and you'll feel like you don't have to use any hands at all. So let's go ahead and do a little half swing there again, 50 or 60 yards. There we go, and I felt no hands at all. I preferably, when I go to the range, I wanna pick a very small target, try to hit it into that target. I'm not a very good judge of distance. I tried 50, I got 102. Don't hit a lot of one quarter swing six iron, so I guess I need to do a little practice there. But that's the, that's the idea with it. The reason you wanna start small is because if I can't keep my hands quiet and I can't keep from manipulating the club on a short shot, there is absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to do this, this at full swing speed. So after I hit a, a few of those shorter ones, I'm gonna do what I call a, a ladder or a stair step approach where I hit a couple good from 50 or 60 yards, I go to 100, I go to 130, and then I go to a full swing. So again, I'm just gonna go a little three quarter swing, feeling like the club's coming from the inside, feeling like my hands are soft on the club the entire time. And then finishing nice and balanced in the follow through. So I went 175 and I'd eventually work it up to whatever my full distance is. Now, finally, we're gonna do one of the most important drills. This one helped me to improve my golf game possibly more than anything else, and it's this little nine to finish drill. Now, if you haven't seen this, you need to, get aware of it. You need to become aware of it because it's gonna really help a lot of things in your swing. Now, the nine part comes from my left arm going to nine o'clock, so if a clock face is here, 12 is above me, six at the bottom, nine and three, my arm is gonna swing back until my hand would be at the nine, nine o'clock, if it's an hour hand, and then I'm gonna to go to a full finish and hold that finish, preferably with the club going right through the center of my ears. 
and my balance on my front foot. The cool thing about this is I'm layering it with the things we already did, the no hands drill and the inside approach drill. And this helps for so many good reasons here. At first, I wanna go nice and easy with it. And what it's gonna do, because I'm going shorter back than I am through, it's gonna get me in the habit of accelerating through the shot. It's also a great way where I'm not making a very big backswing. As I start to swing a little bit faster, I'm really gonna to have to engage my hips and my body to pull the club through that good full finish, or I'm just not gonna be able to hit it very far. I actually, with this nine to full finish drill, can hit it about as far as my full normal swing if I use my body in the right way. So let's put it all together here. I'm gonna do a little nine to finish drill, soft hands, club coming from the inside. Remember my first shot went about 195 yards. Let's see how far this one goes with just a half back swing. And I rushed it a little bit, it went 177. I could automatically feel where I haven't been practicing a ton the last few days, my sequence was a little bit off. And that's, that's what this drill is so good for. Because if I can't get my sequence good in a little half back swing, then it's gonna fall apart in a harder and fuller swing. So I'm gonna try again, short swing, really come through that full finish. Let's hit a nice solid one here. There we go, much better. You see there 174. So I'm getting, you know, 80% of the distance that I would with a full swing as hard as I can swing, or a full six iron, uh, doing that little nine o'clock backswing. And if I do enough of those, my acceleration is gonna be great, my body movement's gonna be great. I'm automatically gonna have a little bit more lag in the downswing because I'm accelerating later in the swing. Helps with all kinds of different things. Now, like I said before, if we don't get that club from the inside, it's gonna be very difficult to play some great golf. You see, a lot of times players have this idea that at the downswing, they're gonna use their hands in this type of a motion. That's automatically gonna kick the club more out in front of us, and it makes you feel like you're going really quick in your swing. So if you did these drills and you felt rushed, I have the perfect video for you to smooth out your transition and make it easier to get from the inside. Go ahead and click on one of the cards you see on your screen. I'll play a preview of that video here in a second. Click on one of those cards to see the full video, get instant access to it. And don't worry if you don't see those cards, just click down below in the link in the description. You can get access to it there too. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I can't wait to smooth out your transition. This is a great video, you don't wanna miss it. Now the bottom line is that if you pull this club down to ring that bell or pull the hands more from the inside, what's gonna happen is you start to rush your downswing from that pulling, and that can throw off your sequence. And we all know that once your sequence gets off, that is gonna be the root cause of all your problems. Now, maybe you're being outdriven way too often, or you're terribly inconsistent with your strikes. Some of your shots are heavy, some of them are thin, some of them are off the toe, and then the next ones are way off the heel. Now you end up way over in the trees, you're in the tall grass, or maybe even the hazards all day long, and it really comes down to this. Clay, how in the heck do we fix it? Well, there's some good news. Well, there's only two things that you need to learn. First, you need to learn to shallow the club rather than pulling the hands down and getting the shaft in the steep position. You see, there's another way that the pros do this, and once you start to get that club on the shallower plane, more from the inside, then you pair that up with the right way to square the club face. And once you put these two things together, everything starts to fit in your swing. Now your buddies will start to get a little bit jealous because you'll start hitting solid, longer drives, time after time, and round after round. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the E-slot technique. Let's walk through exactly how to do it. So here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and take a swing to the top and get in a really good position. I want you to feel like your weight is mostly shifted to your right side and that your hips and shoulders are nice and free. I don't wanna be locked up here. I want my knees to move, my hips to move. And that's gonna allow me to swing my shoulders very nicely. Now, one thing that most people get wrong when they swing to the top is they don't get this tilt away from the target. So instead of being straight up and down or leaning to the left, I wanna be slightly tilted away in what I call the stable fluid spine in my top speed golf system. Okay, so now that you're at this great position at the top of the swing, what I want you to do is instead of pulling those arms straight down or ringing the bell, that's gonna get the club shaft steep and get this elbow kind of flapping behind your body. I want you to do something very specific. I want you to take the tip of your elbow and move it in a specific way. Now, not this small bone on the inside of your elbow, but I want it to be right here at the tip. And here's what I want you to do. 